So, right in front of me today, we got Coach Ken, respected coach. So, how are you doing, Ken? How are you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be back in the country where I'm from. So, got to come back and represent a little bit. Um, Excellent. So, Coach Ken, tell me about your beginnings here. Um, I played for I played for Caroline with the Young Bloods group, the first group that went into the National League. I played for her for about three years and always played club ball for her. Caroline was one of my first coaches. Um, Young Bloods was one of the programs where I think we all started and it helped us to kind of get on the right kind of path and give us give us basketball in our life. And I think it made it, it was a huge a huge beginning for us. Taught us the fundamentals and taught us how to work hard. Now I know you went over for East London a little bit with uh, Coach Humph Long, yep. and then you came back to Young Bloods yep. to help out a bit with the coaching. Can you talk to me about that a bit? Who's yeah. Who's calling you out there? Uh, yep. Yeah, um, yeah. was calling you. Okay. Um, I oh, was, sorry. <laughs> I was um I, I was with Caroline for a little while, you know, and she wanted me to. We we decided it was good for me to go in another direction for a little while, try some different positions. Obviously, there I was able to play small and be a point guard. So I went over to Hump for a little while, played for East London, did well for those guys, got to the national final, made the England squad, did good things, and then I and then I wanted to come back and because we I always had a great relationship with Caroline, with Stephen, with the program. I think what it does for kids in Newham, I, I I don't I don't think there's many people that parallel the kind of success that she's had with youth and young people and doing what they do for kids in Newham. Now, Ke Coach Ken, we want to talk about how you being a coach helped your basketball and you made the transition from England over to the USA. Definitely, definitely. I think I think what it, it somebody said to me once that you can't know the game until you can teach it. You don't know something until you can learn teach it to other people and you can speak it. If you can't like if you can't talk defense it's hard for you to play defense, you know. And they're the kind of concepts that we I was able to understand. By teaching the game to others I got a better understanding of what I was looking at and I watched the game in a different perspective and that helped me to become a better coach. Okay, one thing we want to talk about now coach Ken is um Actually, what you actually did out in the States with regards to the, 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 your transition from playing and moving on to coach. What happened during that period? Well, what happened was I, went, I was at school for four years in NAIA school. We actually ended up being in the national tournament for the first time since 1991. Um, uh, the, it was a big run. We did real well. And, and then I tore my Achilles tendon. After tearing my Achilles tendon, I, I started to look at coaching as an option. I got healthy, got back, came back, did the rehab, and but I just love coaching so much. It's, it's just a, for me, it's a great, I, I feel like God's given me a gift, given me the ability to help mold kids' lives using sports as a focus. Um, and, and that to me is huge. So where are you now in the, in, in the States? Where are you now in America? Well, for the last four or five years, I coached high school in Maine. Um, did real well, coached the number one team in the state. One of my point guards you'll probably see on this tape at some What's point. What's his name? Ben Tier. He's being recruited by um, Dartmouth. He little white guard, real quick, kind of does the right down, kind of things. Yeah, I'd be watching him actually. He, can, he can gun, he yeah, can shoot. He can shoot and he's tough to stay in front of. He's very quick. Um, smart kid too, very good in the classroom because we value that. And that's one of the reasons why I went to the States. I love the system of the fact that you've got to pass class in order to play basketball. I think if there's one thing we lack in the UK, that's that combination of the two, you know, making sure they gel together and, and kids are focused on everything so that we use it to cross over and help them in all aspects. Now, I'm going to hold you on the spot now, Coach Ken. Now, tell me about your education journey and what it took for you just to stand up, stand tall and be a man. Talk well, to me, baby. I, I felt for me, I had to make the decision if I was in England if whether I wanted to play basketball or go to school. I didn't want to make that decision. I wanted to do both. Hence why I went to America and did both. Um, I went to a very good university. I, I studied business administration with a, a minor in education to get my teaching degree. What level are you at now? I'm now um, completing my master's course. I'm completing the accelerated while I'm working out there. So I'll be done with my master's in leadership um, in January, my, my course will my course will So up. what's the future holding for the kids in the UK who are aspiring to get over to America and, and, and basically get their next level of education with basketball and brain education? What is going on here? The difference between the good kids and the great kids is your work ethic. It's that simple. That, it, it, that's the simplest thing that anybody ever takes from me or anybody takes from or I've learned from other people is how hard you're willing to work. You look at the greats, you look at Caroline, you look at Jimmy, you look at you look at Joe, you look at Humph, you look at you, you everybody that's done stuff, it's what they've done, it's how hard they've been willing to work to get where they want to be. And then how you treat people. If you I'm gonna play well, advocate. I'm really gonna play advocate there. Is there any shortcuts? Is there any shortcuts? I don't think so. 
I don't think so. Not coming, not from working hard. You know, I, I think that's got to be there. You, you've got to put yourself in a position to win. Good things come to those who work hard. If you put yourself in a position to win, then that chance comes along, and you're ready to go out and grab it. Then, then you've got a chance. Last thing, Coach Ken. Talk to me about the future and what possibly could happen for kids here that's going to probably make the transition to America in relation to the basketball and education, especially when they got it. What is the future for them? What are the possibilities? College from, from high school to you know, college. I don't think kids realize how good they are and how much they can play and how we can compete with other kids. Athletically, we're just as good as those kids in the States and we have to make sure that kids learn that and understand that. Where we've, where we've got to also understand there's got to be a balance of the two. I've just signed um, Amber Charles, Caroline's daughter, on an athletic scholarship. She signs a partial athletic, uh, athletic for me to come into Tennessee Temple where, I'm, where is my new position at Tennessee Temple University down in Tennessee. Um, uh, my first college position and I'm excited to have the opportunity of, to, of her coming in and leading with, with me and with our group into a new, new era and a new dimension. Now let's get back to the matter of fact of what's going on today at the New Young Young Bloods reunion tournament. Yep. Tell it to me Ken, you gonna bring it? Hey, I gotta bring it. That's all I can do. You I see, go hard. the thing is, you notice I switch from Coach Ken to Ken because when he's playing, he's just Ken. Yep, but, gotta go at people. But I'm telling you, I got most respect for Coach Ken. He's one of the few people who's actually made the transition from player to coach over in the United States. Ken, just last word. One word for the young guys who wants to make it out there. One word. Keep I'm working. Gonna... Keep working. Work as hard as you possibly can. You heard it, folks. Idyllic Media. Coach Ken, thank you very much. Thank you.